So this morning I'm going to be showing you my alternating cable cast on. It's one of my favourite cast on methods for items such as hats, the tops of socks, cowls, anything really that requires a nice stretchy edge that bounces back into place. This is my just passing through hat and I've put a link in the description below. Let's take a little closer look at this edge of the cast on so you can see it a little bit more clearly. So as the name suggests, what you're doing is alternating knit and purl stitches to match the ribbing that you're using, whatever that is. And you get this nice stretchy edge that's a rather neat match to the stitches you're using. If you find this video useful, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. OK, let's get on with it. So let's get going with our alternating cable cast on. First of all, we need to make a slip knot, and I always like to make a slip knot with the loop being formed with this short tail end because that enables the tightening to come from the tail rather than from the working yarn. It's just a personal preference, it doesn't, doesn't matter too much. So we've got our slip stitch mounted on our needle and what we're now going to do is work one more stitch for the cast on before we begin the proper alternating cable cast on. We need two stitches to start it. So we're just going to put the needle into the slip stitch as if to knit and then mount a stitch. Don't pull that loop too tightly. You'll see why that's useful in a minute. So for my ribbing I want the next stitch, my third stitch, to be a, like a purl stitch. So what I need to do is from the back of the work for a purl stitch put your needle between the two stitches, not through the loops but between, underneath. Can you see that that's between the two stitches? This is why it's useful to leave this a little bit loose because you can easily get your needle in. If you want to tighten it up a bit, you can pull on the yarn now and then just work the stitch and mount the loop. Again, don't pull this loop too tightly because it makes it much easier if it's looser to get your uh, needle in. I want the next stitch in my cast on, I've just worked a purl, I want it to be a knit. And to work a knit, you go from the front of the work to the back. So always working between the stitches, not into the stitches. So next one is a purl, so again, Go from the back to the front for a purl and mount the loop. Then a knit stitch, so front to back. Purl stitch from back to front. So I want a knit stitch, go from front to back and then a purl stitch. So it's a very simple cast on, you just alternate between the front and the back of the work. And what you should see when you've done this cast on is that some of the stitches, every other stitch, will sit slightly at the front of the work and these are the knit stitches and their companions will sit towards the back of the work because those are the purl stitches. So here's our alternating cable cast on and I finished all the way round all the stitches that I need. But I just want to show you it up close so that you can spot any mistakes. So my cast on and yours for going a knit one, purl one in the round needs to go purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit. And so you can count your stitches in pairs, two, four, six, eight, ten. And as you do so, you'll notice that the, each pair of stitches, there's a stitch with a little V underneath 
that sits forward and it goes slightly diagonally to the right and then there's a stitch that appears behind it. This is your pearl and this is your net. So as you count your pairs, each one should look the same with a stitch behind and a stitch in front. And so as you count along your work, you can quickly check that your pairs of stitches are correct. Okay, so it's an easy way to check. Should you come across an error here? So I'm counting and I've got two, four, six, eight, ten. And then I come here and you can see that I've got my slightly diagonal front stitch here, but I've got two purl stitches here. So I don't want those. That is knit one, purl two, knit one. And that's not what I'm looking for. So what you do is go back to your knit stitch here and remove everything forward of that and then simply carry on with your cast on purl one knit one and that will correct your mistake. So if you're new to this cast on it's really worth counting your stitches and doing that little check quite regularly because then you'll catch any mistakes very quickly and early on. So that's the alternating cable cast on. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and happy knitting.